I'm Emily. Uh, my business is Emily Boyd Upholstery. I live in Tinton in South Wales. Um, it's a lovely part of the world here, lots of beautiful countryside. Um, I've got a workshop in my back garden, which, so I'm very lucky that I already work from home before the coronavirus hit us all. I think what I really love about the work I do is so much variety. So I, every piece is different. I mean, I can, I've done sort of two and a half metre long swimming pool cushions, and then I've done lovely dainty buttoned uh, so sofas you know so it's a real and I've done I've done tiny children's chairs covered in leopard skin not actual leopard skin faux leopard skin so I, what I love about it is the variety a lot of people will assume because old great aunt so-and-so's chair was always red they want it red but if you actually see their home you can maybe make some suggestions that things they might not have thought of whereas I was very concerned that we weren't locking down by this point friends and family Everybody I was speaking to were, were very worried and really thought that the lockdown should be happening. Um, I had vulnerable customers I was working with at the time, had a customer who um, has leukaemia and was undergoing treatment, so she was already being very, very careful. So I collected work from her at a very safe distance, so safe in fact, she had a, um, an electronic garage door. So she opened the garage door, she stood on the doorstep, I put the chairs in the car and, and left. So we had absolutely no contact with her whatsoever because we'd already had plans for the chairs. When the actual lockdown happened, um, I think my, my biggest sense was relief that something was actually happening. With my business, I assumed everything was going to shut down. So I, I sort of thought, really, well, I've got about five weeks' work still planned in. I'll just carry on with that, and um, then maybe I'll have a chance to get my accounts up to date, <laughs> to tidy up my workshop, to maybe do some of those chairs that I've got around the house. That As an upholsterer, you always have projects that you want to do for the house, but never have time to do them. Right throughout, I've continued to see customers in my local area. Um, I'm in Tinton and I've only been seeing customers between Monmouth, Chepstow, Caldecott, Tinton area. The customer puts the chair outside, I measure up quickly, leave the books with them to have a look at in their own time. When I'm ready to start working on their furniture, I make sure I collect it on a Friday and don't start working on it until, until the Monday. I leave it in the hot car all weekend to decontaminate it in case there is any any danger just makes me feel safer when I start stripping things back and there's dust flying everywhere I was involved in setting up a local Tinton Covid support group for people who couldn't get out and about to pick up their prescriptions get shopping all that sort of things I still had so much work going on that we had to get a coordinator in to, to look after our group so that I was able to continue working um, and, and so some scrubs in the free time I had without doing all the coordination of everything as well. It takes me probably three and a half hours to do a full set of scrubs. So it's not, it's no mean, and, that, and that, well, probably, that's probably on top of cutting them out. So you probably, it's a big part of people's days that they are, they're doing it. Yeah, it's a lot, it's, you know, it's not a quick, easy thing to make. It does take time. Yeah. It does say it's not a quick, I think you see a finished set of scrubs and you think it's... So I know one lady in our group's made at least 20 sets. The best mm -hmm. ones I've def done were definitely the ones um, that went, we knew we'd, we knew we were going directly to a Covid ward and they were for someone specific. And I know they put a massive smile on her face, so that was, that was really lovely. I did the couch to 5k this time last year and as soon as lockdown happened I thought, right, I'm going to do it again and I'm going to crack it. And it is just beautiful. It's just so lovely and calming running along the river. <laughs> I know it does me good and it means I can have an extra bit of cheese or glass of wine at the end of the day. I'd hate to live in a city right now. I, I feel very safe here and I know I'm very lucky that I can just stay in my little bubble and not, not worry about the big wide world too much.